Good morning, everyone, and welcome to We Creatives Spring Tales, Episode 3. I'm Kat Sheridan from your LMP team, and today we are celebrating World Theatre Day, which happens on the 27th of March. We're going to be doing that by listening to a little known tale called The Money Pig about a piggy bank so full of himself that he misses the wonderful show his friends put on for him. And stick around after our tale because Ailish will be here to show you how to make your very own theatre at home using just a cardboard box and a few other bits and bobs so you can make your very own shows for your friends and family. Shall we have a listen then? Okay. Once upon a time, there was a house far away with a room full of toys from floor to ceiling. There were puzzles and games and boxes and dolls and trains and all kinds of amazing things to play with. On the top shelf, there lived a money pig called Gus, full to the brim with notes and coins, so full that he didn't even rattle anymore when he walked. This was a fact he was very, very proud of. Gus sat up on his shelf, looking at the rest of the playroom, thinking very highly of himself indeed, and knowing that he was the important one in the room. Now, the toys on the playroom floor thought Gus was wonderful and all, but they didn't really tell that to Gus or talk about it much amongst themselves because they thought they were wonderful too. And the children chose to play with them every single day, no matter what, which is the thing they loved most of all. And they celebrated the fact that they were all different from train to book to puzzle to game. That's what made playing fun. One evening after the children had gone to bed and the toys were all tucked up, Molly the doll, who had been around for a while, stuck her head out from the pram and whispered, Hey everyone! Wake up! Do you want to play? I've got an idea. Let's put on a show. Now the toys were in complete commotion. They had never made a theatre show before and they loved the idea of telling tales but they knew they had to be quiet so as not to wake the children. So the toys gathered together on the floor and set about making a theatre. The puzzles and the books stacked themselves up on each other to make the perfect stage. The dolls swapped outfits and shared so that everyone could have a costume. The cars and trains drove themselves to the front of the stage and turned their little lights on so that the whole thing was illuminated. And the toys that didn't want to perform that night settled down to watch the most fantastic play. Now it started with toys just talking about things they liked. So we had the rocking horse coming on stage and talking about show jumping. Billy the train came on and talked about railways and the adventures he'd been on. But then Molly the doll got up and decided that she wanted to play out Jack in the Beanstalk. Well, they all knew that story. And so toys from every part of the room joined on stage to tell the fantastical story of that fairy tale. The audience clapped and cheered as quietly as they could so as not to wake the children. Meanwhile, Gus was still up on his shelf, ignoring all the toys below him, thinking they were very, very silly and that he was the most important. He was the most important, he thought, because of all the money in his belly, he could buy the toys in that room. And he wondered how long he would stay up there, full of money before he was put to use. In all his wondering and musings, he took his eye off the ball and slowly, gently rocked off his shelf and began to fall. Now Gus the money pig tried as he could to reach out and grab, but there was nothing to stop him. So he fell fast and fast and fast and smashed into lots of tiny pieces on the ground. The toys stopped their show immediately and turned to run to Gus. They knew if the children woke up and found him in pieces, he would be swept up and put in the bin, no fuss. They quickly rallied, grabbing glue and sticky paint and tape from the art supply box and slowly, gently pieced Gus back together. 
then put every single penny, coin and note back inside his belly. When Gus was feeling a little bit better, Molly the doll asked, how did you fall Gus? What were you doing? Did our show entice you so much? No, Gus said sadly. I knew you were putting on your show below, but I thought myself too important to watch. I was only thinking of myself when I fell off that shelf. Billy the train asked, so you didn't see any of our show at all? I wanted to know what you thought of it. And Gus sighed again. I wish I'd paid attention, dear friends. Maybe I wouldn't have fallen. I was so caught up in my own world, I didn't even know what was going on. But please, please forgive me. I see how important you all are now and how generous you all are to have helped me. Please, can I ask you to put the show on again because I would love to see it, dear friends. The toys looked at each other and looked back at Gus and were so happy to see him apologize and to want to see their work that they quickly rallied and repeated the show again for everyone in the room to enjoy. Gus cheered and whooped and did not care if he woke the children for he had learned a lesson that it was not all about him. The end. That is the story of The Money Pig, which I think is a great story as it incorporates a brilliant show and friendships. Friendships evolving, friendships learning, friendships growing. Gus was a little bit silly thinking he was the most important in that room, wasn't he? But his friends still stood by him when he needed help and in return, he realized their worth and watched their wonderful work and got to join in. He must've been quite lonely up there on that shelf, I think. Let's go over to Ailish now, who's gonna teach us how to make our very own theaters so we can put on our own shows for all our toys, friends, and family at home. Hi everybody, and thank you Kat for another lovely story as part of our Spring Tales. It's so nice to be able to celebrate World Theatre Day and I was so glad that the money pig realised his mistake just in time and was able to enjoy the show with the other toys by the end of the story. Now, I know what you're thinking, it would be really fun to put on a show with your toys. So today, our craft is to make our own home theatre out of a cereal box and just a few other craft items so that we can tell lots of stories of our own on our very own stage. To make your very own theatre at home you'll need a cereal box, scissors and sailor tape, paint or pens or pencils to decorate with, some coloured card or plain paper that you can decorate yourself and you'll need a notebook or book to draw around. You also definitely need a grown up helper. So to make our theatre, the first thing that we'll need to do is open up our cereal box at the bottom and along the side so it can lay out flat. Now for the theatre itself, we're going to use one side, the front and the other side. So we have this big thick piece and we have the two side pieces. We're going to cut off the back and we'll use that later. Can you turn your box this way round? And you'll need something to draw around to create the rectangle shape here because we're going to cut out a hole here. So there we have our square drawn on our box and we now need to cut this out. You'll need to get an adult to help with this. Now pop that just to one side and can you get your other piece of cardboard box, the one that we cut off right at the beginning and put to the side because this we're going to use to make a bit of detail for the top of our theatre. So starting at one side, you can ignore the flaps at the side, but starting at one side, we're going to just draw a bit of a fancy shape. It looks a little bit like a pirate hat over to the other side. So can you see that? We've got, we've got a curve from here up and down so that it looks like a pirate hat. And that's going to be our kind of fancy top for the top of our theatre. 
and can you cut that out now too? It's time to decorate these however you like. I'm going to use paint today, but you could use coloured pens, you could use pencils, you could cover it in pretty paper, you could stick stickers down, cut out some shapes, whatever you like. So I've got this nice red paint here, which I'm going to put on, but I do wonder what it is that you will choose. So I'm just waiting for my paint to dry on my theatre shape and it can be quite boring waiting for paint to dry. You want to be getting on with your craft. So while you're waiting for that to dry or maybe you've just finished uh, decorating it in another way, we're going to make some curtains for the side of our theatre. Now for this, I'm going to use coloured card, but you could use the spare bit of zero box or you could use just some plain paper and you could decorate them however you like. So I'm going to make two curtains that hang at either side using this as a guide. So along this side, that is the length that we need the curtains to be. So I'm going to use that to measure the size that we want them to be. And in fact, we need them to be a little bit bigger so I might just leave that and that will be hidden when we stick down. So we're going to want two strips and I'm going to use this way to make it nice and straight. I think about that thickness is going to be good. So I'm going to do a line there. So we know that by measuring this way, those curtains are going to be long enough. They're going to cover all of this and we'll have space to stick at the top. So we want two curtains, don't we? So that is one. And then we need one for the other side. Two, and I'll cut those out. If you don't have coloured card and you want to use your cereal box, the part of the cereal box that I would use would be these flappy bits at the side because they're already a nice width and you could just cut along this way and cut along this way to make our curtains two curtains and they're going to sit at the side and we'll stick those down once our theatre is nice and dry so I'm just going to pop those to the side now. The other thing we can be doing while we're waiting for our paint to dry is thinking about things that we might like to decorate our theatre with. So I've got some yellow card here and I think I'm going to draw and cut out some star shapes for on the front of our theatre but you could choose whatever you like. So after a little while, your paint should have dried and while the paint was drying, you can have been cutting out your curtains, cutting out some decorations to go on your theatre if you like, or thinking about what design you might like to do. So I've done these little yellow stars that I'm going to decorate my theatre with. And now we can add on our curtains. So to do this, can you flip over to the non-painted side? So this will be the side that's got your cereal on it. And then you've got your strips of card or your decorated paper or your fabric, whatever you chose. And we can just add these onto the back. So I'm going to stick these with tape just to make sure that they hold and stick down at the top, stick down at the bottom and you could put some tape along this side as well so that they make sure that they really nicely stuck down. Here we've got our curtains. Oh and do you know what? I think I'm going to do another little piece for across the top. So I'm going to get my card back. Oh, there we go, that's going to be perfect. I'm going to cut one little strip here. So there we go, we've got our theatre curtains and it's time now to put our theatre all together. You'll see on your cereal box all of the lines that used to be folds. Can you make sure that those still fold nice and easily? So you've got one at the bottom two flaps at the side, then these two flaps at the side, make sure those can still fold down. You've got the flaps at the top and then this long one at the top as well. So everywhere that you can see a fold, 
can you make sure that you can still fold it nice and easily because this is how we're going to build our theatre back together. So we'll start by folding along this edge so we can pull our theatre towards us at the side so that it stands up straight. Then we've got to take this flap at the bottom, fold it up and with a little piece of tape, add that on there. So that's our first step to getting our theatre built. And I'm going to add another little piece of tape. Now you'll need quite a lot of tape for this just to make sure that your theatre will stand up. So that's one side. Flip it around and do the other side. So we've got this flap into the side, this one up. So you can see already that our theatre is starting to take shape. Now we've got to do the same at the top. Okay, so take all of those bits together and you will see that we have our theatre shape like this. Now, I wonder what we should do with our pirate hat piece that we cut out earlier. Do you remember I said that this was for a bit of decoration at the top of our stage? So can you see how if we put that on there, it looks very fancy and very much like a theatre. Stick this top part down using your sticky tape. Put some along the front and the back to make sure it stays nice and secure. So once that we've got that top part stuck down, you can see that this really does look like a theatre shape. And I know you're probably thinking, Eilish, I can see the blue Rice Krispies box that you started off with. We can see it through here on the stage, can't we? So what we'll do, if we flip round, we can cut a piece of card that's this size and just stick it on top so that we can't see the blue Rice Krispies. So I'm going to use my piece of cereal box from earlier, the bit that I cut my pirate hat out of. I'm going to use that because that's going to be the right size to just slot in there. So now you can see once that's stuck down that you can't see any of the blue Rice Krispies box anymore. Instead we've got this brown which is quite like a normal stage time to set up for our show now so I'm going to go and find some toys that might want to perform. So here we are set up for our very first show at our very own homemade theatre and as you can see my toys are ready for the first show. There's a little bell there that I think is going to tell us a story. So my toys are going to turn around, face the stage Come on, donkey, you turn around, face the stage and the little car. And do you know who else is here? Do you remember the money pig from the shelf? Here he is. Money pig is coming in to watch the show as well, to sit with the others and enjoy a story all together. I hope you've had lots of fun with our story and making this at home and that you and your toys are ready to put on lots of shows and tell lots of stories at your very own homemade theatre. We'll see you back here next time for another Spring Tale.